Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Jackson, and I'm a digital marketing specialist at Global Reach. And we recently posted a blog about tracking custom events on Google Analytics 4 and on Google Tag Manager. And we have a blog that kind of goes through that and talks about the, the reasons why we should do that. And this video is to provide uh, you know, a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that using Google Tag Manager. Essentially, we want to do this because there are a couple of events on your website that um, is not available for tracking right off the box. You know, if there is a certain button on your website that you want to track clicks on, or if you want to look at scroll percentages, or if you want to look at how many people have filled out a particular form, these things aren't necessarily available uh, for tracking right away, but you can set it up pretty easily in Google Tag Manager. So let me uh, jump to my screen share. Uh, and let's talk about how we can get this started. Okay, and welcome to our Google Tag Manager container. You know, one thing I will say is that you should have your Google Analytics 4 already fully set up and configured to Google Tag Manager. So uh, just make sure you have that figured out and fully set up before you kind of embark on this next process. So the very first step is to go ahead and click preview. And this will come up with a window asking you to put your URL in. Uh, as you can see, I already have mine in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Connect. But if you are doing this for the first time, you'll probably need to go to your website and copy your URL. So what this does is it opens kind of a, you know, a, a tag assistant or a debugging window that allows you to click on your website and uh, look at the variables that come through. So this is kind of, uh, you know, a live version of our website and this is uh, the variables that come through based on the activities that I am going to uh, kind of replicate here. So as you can see we have a couple of tags that fire automatically like the Google Analytics 4 configuration fires in all pages, Google Analytics for Universal Analytics fires in all pages. So these are ones that fire uh, you know regardless of what you do. But let's look at some more you know variable information here. So let us go back to the home page and let's try clicking on, you know, let's say I want to track the live chat button on the top right of the website. So let me go ahead and click on that. This opens a new window. So let me close this and look at what comes through here. So nothing comes through here when I click on live chat. So, maybe, so that's something that I'll need to implement additional tracking for, for this to happen. So let's look at the get started button. And let's come back here and we're seeing that we have gotten a link click event. So let's click on this and let's go to variables. And we're seeing a couple of variables here. So this is the information that Google Tag Manager has garnered from me clicking that get started button. So let's go ahead and start tracking the get started button. So you want to make sure that the variables that you are tracking are unique to that activity. So right now I'm looking at a couple things on this screen here. I'm looking at click text equals get started. You know, that tells me that um, that's unique to that get started button. Unless I have other, you know, buttons on a website with the same text, this should be a pretty good way to make sure I'm uniquely tracking that button. You know, something you don't want to track maybe is, maybe you don't want to track something like this where the refer is tag assistant at google.com. This won't work because when the average user is going to your website, they won't have these tag manager variables uh, to, to you know, come into play. So this is something that you just wanna, you know, put a little thought into and, and, and decide what you really wanna track. So in this situation, we're gonna go really simple. We are going to track the click text uh, for the button, which is get started. So let me copy this. So the very first step uh, to start tracking a button or an activity or an event is the trigger, because the trigger is what Google Tag Manager sees as the, you know, as the trigger to start firing an event and to start telling Google that, hey, this event has occurred, send the information through and send the data through. So let's go ahead and start with the triggers by clicking on triggers and clicking on new. And let's call this the get started trigger or get started button trigger. Just make sure to to, um, to, to name your uh, your triggers and your tags accordingly, just so they can easily be organized and kind of married together. 
And just so your tag looks a little organized, it, it, it's just better to have that all organized and, and consolidated in one spot where it's easy to find. So click on this box and let's take a look at a couple of things here. So we have a few options that we can look at. Oops, a few options that we can look at. So I'm gonna look for a, a click because this, we're tracking a button click. So let's click on all elements. Let's do some clicks, not all clicks, because all clicks just tracks all the clicks on your website. So let's look at some clicks. And we want this, this trigger to fire when an event occurs and all of these conditions are true. Unfortunately, this is an and situation, not an or situation. So you can't have or, it will need to be and if you are tracking more than one variable. But in this situation, for simplicity's sake, we're going to keep it to to, to, to one variable. So let's make sure that uh, we're looking at click text and we want to look at click text equals get started, which is what I copied before. So this is our trigger and this triggers whenever a user uh, clicks um, on the get started button. So let me go ahead and save this. And now it is time to create our tag. So let's click on new and let's call this the get started button tag. So I'm going to start by selecting my trigger, which is the get started button trigger. So you see how easy it is uh, once you have your naming convention fully set up and organized in a uh, logical manner. So once you have our triggers kind of uh, stuffed in there, we're going to head and start with the tag configuration. If you recall, I mentioned that you should probably have your Google Analytics 4 set up. So make sure you have that set up. And we are going to start tracking a Google Analytics 4 event. You could also do this in Universal Analytics, but what's the point if it is leaving or if it is being discontinued in a couple of months? And sorry about that email in the bottom right. And sorry about that email too. So I'm going to click on Google Analytics 4 event. And I'm going to click on Google Analytics 4G4 conversion. And for event name, so for, for the event name, you want to look at your Google Analytics and look at what your events are defined as. I usually just stick to click because I'm tracking a button click and this is already uh, a default event in Google Analytics 4. So it, the, the reporting will go into a very um, you know, logical and arranged place on the platform. But again, this is up to you. That's just my personal recommendations. So the one thing you have to fill in here are the event parameters. So uh, just drop this menu down and click on add row. And then for your parameter name, you want to make sure that you have underscores in this. So in this situation, I'm going to call it the get started. And over here uh, is the value. So the value is what is going to come through on Google Analytics, uh, so you know it, you're 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 going to have that that reporting on there. So you want to make sure that your um, that your value is there. So we we are going to call this button and semicolon, and we want to select the value, click text. So this um, when you see it come through on Google Analytics, it's going to have the the button and the uh, uh, the the click text that you're clicking on so that you'll be able to see, okay, so it was a button and this was the type of button that the individual clicked on. So let us go ahead and save this. And now the important thing to do before you click submit is to preview. Previewing basically just lets you know that uh, things are working properly. So I'm gonna go back to this window and stop debugging. And then I'm going to start the preview process again. And if you are previewing for the second time, you definitely will not need to put your URL in. So I'm going to connect like usual and wait for the uh, window to pop up. And let's take a look at the debugging screen. So I'm seeing all my usual tags that I would fire by default. So let us go ahead and click on get started and come back here and boom, look at that. The get started tag was fired one time because we clicked on the get started button. So awesome. 
So this means it works and we are good to go ahead and submit this. So all you have to do is go ahead and click submit and publish. And now your tag is published. Now, it is a, uh, another process to get this to come through on Google Analytics 4. So let me jump over to Google Analytics and we're gonna talk about how to do that. Okay, and welcome to GA4's beautiful, sleek interface. So let me just uh, quickly run through how to uh, bring some reporting through from Google Tag Manager. So if you have everything set up correctly, which I hope you do, then this should be a pretty seamless process. So once your page is opened, you wanna go down to configure on the left-hand side, and you wanna to go to custom definitions. So this is custom definitions because we are bringing through definitions that uh, are not available by default. So we are importing this through. So let's go ahead and click on create custom dimensions. And down here is your event parameter. If, if you recall on Google Tag Manager, when we were creating our tag, there was, was a section for the event parameter. So you wanna make sure that your uh, event is in here. I will say that it takes about 24 hours for it to come through when you set it up for the first time. For me, it's already in here, but it will take about 24 hours for it to, to populate here. So don't panic if you don't see it immediately. Um, it, it's not, you know, it, it probably means it hasn't come through yet. So give it some time and let's, uh, and let's wait for it to come through. So once that comes through and once you see it here, that's awesome. Just go ahead and click on it. And on the dimension name, you want to call this, uh, the name of your dimension. So I'm going to call this the, the get start button. It's going to be an event, um, in a situation and the description will be tracks whenever a user clicks on the get started button on the global reach home page. So that is what I will do. And I'll go ahead and click save. Uh, and, and once you click save, it will take about 24 hours for it to come through as well. So if you're noticing, and if you're following, you'll notice that, it, that it's kind of a delayed process. You create an tag manager, you wait 24 hours, you bring it through Google Analytics, and then you wait another 24 hours uh, to see it on Google Analytics. But um, I, trust me, it is a worthwhile process. It is a little bit of a process, but it is worthwhile. And once you kind of finish that process, you'll you'll start seeing your data come through on Google Analytics 4. And you'll be able to take that data and use it uh, on, on custom reports. You'll be able to, to you know connect it to Google Looker Studios and make some cool dashboards with that. So. Possibilities are, you know, not endless, but almost pretty much endless with the, the things you can do with data. So uh, I hope this video was helpful and I hope uh, and I hope that now you know how to bring custom dimensions through to Google Analytics. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, check out the original blog for this post. This is just a step by step guide to kind of um, talk you through how to do this. So check out our original post. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.